What's up everyone? Leaky's Biking here. Uh, today I want to talk about my last few months. Specifically, specifically my last four months. And my job loss and my struggles with unemployment insurance. Now I'm curious, I'll tell you my story. I want to hear your story too if you went through anything uh, here in Canada or wherever you're from. Uh, so in Canada we have employment insurance, we pay a premium on our paychecks that comes out and then we can be entitled to employment insurance. Now this is more designed for people who get layoffs. Uh, so there's three ways, layoff, quit, and fired, but when it comes to fired or quit, you need to have a, what they call a just cause. So if anyone filing for unemployment based on fired or quit, Make sure you go check out the website and the just cause cases you can use or the reasons you can use. I started my claim December 1st, 2019. Now, EI or Unemployment Insurance, they have a guideline of 28 days. Now, it's not written in stone, but uh, one of the agents I spoke to kind of said it was their guidelines they have to go by so that's either have your money in your bank for you or have a decision on your file within 28 days so mine was filed December 1st and of course uh, the 28 days came up just before New Year's so I had made a call spoke to someone and they haven't even looked at my file so at this time I asked, can you do it quickly, because I've been out of work for a while. So they put me under the dire need category. And I don't know what their, their terminology for dire need, but it's totally different than mine. So under that they have to get back to you within five business days. So within, when five days passed, I called again me down to three days, they call again, they put you down to one day. So I was doing this over and over. So an agent never got back to me until about day 77, I believe it was. Spoke to me, had to call my dealership I worked at, back and forth to come up with a decision. So constantly calling, need a decision, need a decision. So finally, they made a decision, it was on day 89, 89 days waiting for unemployment, this is just regular benefits, it's not, it's not any special benefits like this going on right now, and it got denied, my claim got denied, so I put in an appeal, and that went another month, sorry for the sunlight, so after 122 days, my file finally got closed. Four months, one third of a year waiting. So, during this time, you know, I didn't find a job. I never found a job till 87 days later. I've had to sell both the motorcycles, the motorcycles, to pay rent and get food and stuff like that. So I'm working now and all, everything's good. Um, yeah, that, that's what I've been struggling with. I have no motivation to do anything during that time. I'm stuck at home. I was after filing over 100 applications through Indeed. Um, between, I started looking for what I was used to, parts department. And then I said, hey, I got class three. So thankfully for that, I put in more applications and that's where I'm at today I'm uh, really curious if any of you went through that yourself through regular EI and now starting April it's April 6 today so the new uh, Canadian emergency response benefits suppose have started today and I'm curious if anyone the Canadians, if anyone has been out there that had to apply for that and had you gotten through the phone lines, just 
EI benefits alone, I've called hundreds of times over and over. Now he says call failed or uh, too busy. And then when I did finally get through, it was over three hours on the phone, on hold, waiting to get through. So I'd like to know what it's like now with the with all this going on. If you if you're having trouble getting through the regular benefits, uh, if you're getting through, if you're getting through for the emergency, let me know. So it's just a small update and uh, let you know where I'm at. I'll be doing more videos soon. Uh, trying to get a little bit more motivated. Put your comments in below if you got a story. If it's too long, you can always try me on Instagram. And maybe if I get enough, if I get enough people wanting to talk, I could, uh, I could do a live stream or something. But thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.